Couldn't get a deflection there? Come on. It was right on the money. Ha! There we go. Now we're underway. Oh, and this thing just got serious. I gotta split them right down the middle. Ha! Boom! Three of them right there. You ready for this one? We're off to a great start already. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Loxley Featherweight Black. The review begins right now. Hey, what's up guys, Worldwide here. Come on, how was that for an intro? That was pretty good, right? So I'll tell you what, make a deal with you. Three bulls, that certainly deserves a thumbs up right out of the gate, doesn't it? So if you could do that, right down below, it's free. So yeah, in today's video, I think we got a good one for you, a bunch of little extra bonus clips in here. And uh, to be honest, probably one of my favorite videos that I've done in quite a while. The three bulls just, that was icing on the cake for me. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Loxley Featherweight Blacks. Now, if you guys recall, I reviewed the featherweight, the 17 gram featherweight reds, probably uh, maybe a little over a month or so ago. Now they have four models in this lineup. They have the featherweight blues, 18 gram featherweight blues. Put a picture up there. I'm probably not going to review those because they're so similar to the featherweight reds. However, they also have the featherweight greens. I'll probably review those um, sometime in October. So next month, or, uh, well, it's actually pretty close to October now. But yeah, the end of October, I'll probably review the Featherweight Greens. But yeah, the uh, Blacks, we got some twists and turns in this story. These are the Featherweight Blacks, 16 grams. Although, wait till you see here in a couple of clips. Throw, I'm going to throw you guys a curveball. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's grab the other camera, get into these other clips. After that, we'll get these things on the board. I'll throw them for a bit and I'll let you know what I think of these things. End of the video, you know how we do, 180 and I'll give these things a rating for your recreational dart player or how well they would work for your recreational dart player. So all sorts of goodies in this video. Let's get going. Okay, so starting the video off really quick, let me show you the packaging, although I think most of you probably don't care about the packaging, but yeah, compact cardboard hand case, as you see there, and those with a sharp eye are gonna notice that in the thumbnail and in the intro shot where I throw at the bullseyes, I am not using the flights that they came with. Nice set of flights here. I mean, that's pretty much what Loxley uses on a lot of their darts. However, I saw these things and I bought them separately and it's gonna be hard to get them in the light to show you, but we've got the gold Loxley emblem. Let me see if I, oh, there we go. So in the light there, you can see, I mean, these flights are awesome. And you know what? Loxley has a ton of incredible flights, very reasonably priced as well. Again, link down in the pinned comment, you can check them out there. But yeah, we got the uh, medium length Loxley stems, and then of course, our very tiny twin ring gripped Featherlight Black Barrel. So uh, let's get a little bit closer look at these things. I'll run down all the stats and dimensions you need to know, and then we have a couple really cool clips after that. Okay, running down all the stats and dimensions for you guys, starting out front like we normally do, same old song and dance, 32 millimeter black coated points of which 28 millimeters is sticking out of the barrel. However, nice to see black points. I prefer black points over silver points any day of the week. They just hold in the board a lot better. Now, the barrels themselves, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming at a super short, 43 millimeters long. In the barrel width, with these being a straight barrel dart, 6.3 millimeters wide. Now, if I was to unscrew the stem, these are drilled out in the back end, 18 millimeters deep. And guess what? I have a special clip for you guys regarding that and the weight on these things, 16 grams advertised. However, guess what? Special clip for that too. And you probably know what that means already, but let's roll into the next two clips. And I promise you, these are pretty awesome. Here we go. Okay, so check this out. I just sat down before the video begins. This is the first clip that I'm filming. I was just checking, you know, the length, the width, all that stuff, the weight. And um, I figured this might be video worthy. So $15.95 for the first one. The second one, oh, these are advertised as 16 grams, by the way. $15.95 for the second and 
Should we get a drum roll on this one? The third dot. And there it is, guys. Again, perfect match waiting there. So that's awesome. Always incredible to see that. I mean, it is five one hundredths of a gram lighter than advertised, but come on. Perfect match waiting. Very, very nice, Loxley. Always nice to see. So um, let's roll into the next clip, and I'll tell you about this twin ring grip. Okay, so I absolutely had to include this clip in here. It's going to be about a minute and a half, but it's such a cool feature. I definitely wanted to show you guys. So, like I said in the stats and dimensions, these are drilled out 18 millimeters in the back end, right? So, I got thinking, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if these 97% tungsten unicorn inserts would fit into the back end of these tiny barrels. So, I mean, let's be honest here, 16 grams, I mean, that's going to be way too light for most of us, right? So, we've got the unicorn insert. These things weigh, what do they weigh? I think they're like a little over 2 grams. Okay, so 2.21. And now, oops, let's get a little focus here, come on. There we go. So, slides right into the back, and the stem screws in all the way, so there's plenty of room. However, have a listen, crank up the volume real quick. Hear that? Just an ever so slight rattle. What you could do, just stick in like a sliver of tungsten putty, or just crumple up a piece of paper, a paper towel, and you could eliminate that rattling. And here's the good news, guys. Like I said, 16 grams way too light for most of us but now you've got a loxley featherweight black that weighs a little over 18 grams and i think that weight is more manageable for for most of us i mean i think most of us that enjoy a light dart usually pull the plug somewhere around 19 or you know 18 or 19 grams so there you go i mean that's something to consider if 16 grams is too light but you enjoy this grip pattern there you go now you can make your Featherweight Black's a little bit heavier, a little over 18 grams. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about this twin ring grip now. Okay, so let me tell you about the Featherweight Black grip really quick. And I know I ate up some time there with the Perfect Match weight clip plus the other clip where they were drilled out and I added a couple grams. So, yeah, I'll try to keep this one quick. But as you see there, just a basic, very basic twin ring grip. And I'll tell you what, twin ring grip, it varies by so much because if you guys recall... The Kodo King Rex was a twin ring grip. However, they were just like miniature little razor blades running along the entire length of the barrel. These, however, if you look up top or down bottom, doesn't matter. These twin ring grips, they're kind of rounded over. So it smooths out the grip. It, you know, it's a very smooth twin ring grip. As a result, I'm going to go ahead and give these a level 2.4 on a scale of 1 to 5. Not that grippy at all. No sharp edges anywhere, and um, yeah, that's the grip rating, about 2.4 on a scale of 1 to 5. So let's get these things on the board, see how they fly, and I will not be using this setup. We're going to go with the same setup we had all video, so here we go. Okay, here we go. Five throws with the Featherweight Blacks. I just had a quick warm-up, probably about five minutes. And man, what a fun dart to throw. Of course, you know, it makes it fun when the darts are hitting big scores, which I was throwing pretty well in warm-ups. Hopefully that continues now that the camera's on. So we'll see how this goes. Whew. Off to a good start, right? Oh, I do have to admit, I gotta admit something, guys. So I'm throwing these. For, for this clip you see here, for the, for the last clip of the video, I'm throwing these as 18.16 grams. I did put the tungsten inserts in here, although, interesting note, when you change the weight internally, the dart still flies identical to as they would at 16 grams. So, it, yeah, it, the dart flies identical to how they would at a lighter weight. Which, it's bizarre because if you change the point, you know, to maybe like a longer point, if you used a bigger flight or a smaller flight, heavier stem, it would definitely change how the dart flies. But well, yeah, when you change the weight internally, you don't really notice anything at all. And see that? That's been an issue. That's always been an issue with me. When I use light darts in a standard size flight, I'm drifting left. And it's just so frustrating. I know that... Where are they? Oh, right here. 
if I use my own Cosmo stems and flights, these things will be going dead straight, but that's all right. I don't mind using this setup. It's modified enough as it is. So let me see, I'll try to keep these straight. Now, see that flight is still kicking right a little bit. Now I'm blocked, I'm gonna go, I'll go bullseye instead of 19th. 25. And yeah, these barrels are so short that it, it doesn't really ma matter where you grip. I'm using a front grip, although even a middle grip, you're only moving your fingers back, I don't know, 15 millimeters. 43 millimeter long barrel, you only have so much to work with there, so. But yeah, these would work well. Don't, doesn't matter, ooh, where'd that go? Doesn't matter where you grip, front, middle, rear. Ooh, hey, good recovery. Oh, see, great recovery. Another good example, guys. You see that first dart, almost hit the 18. It was just totally slipped out of my hands. Horrible throw, although I didn't let it bother me. Just focus back on that trouble 20, and look at that. Horrible start turned into a great turn. So yeah, basically what I'm saying there, never let a, never let a horrible dart offset your entire turn. Don't, don't let yourself get mad or upset over a single dart because you still have two left in your hand. Totally lost track of how many turns this was. <clears throat> ah, good recovery, bullseye. 25 again. All right, well. I jib jab long enough. I, I think that was five turns again. I get talking, I lose track. So um, there we go. I believe that was five turns. Fun throwing these things, although I really do wish I had my own flights and stems on here. They would be going much straighter, but hey, such is life. Still an incredibly fun dart to throw. So you know how we do here on this channel. We've got another clip coming, 180. Then I'm gonna give these a recommendation and then uh, the outro, we're gonna do a close up of the 180. I think I got a good camera angle on that one today too. So hope you enjoy these last two clips. Oh, nice deflection. Deflection. <laughs> okay, I'll take anything I can get, but man, tell you what, had a fun time making this video for real. Just a great set of darts. So um, I guess now's the time of the video where I give these a recommendation for your average recreational dart player. Now, to be honest, 16 grams, it's gonna be way too light for most players. Probably like what, 90 to 95% of most players, these are gonna to be too light. So, if you were to throw these as is, out of the box at 16 grams, I would give these a recommendation. Not that great, doesn't get a great score. Probably 5.5 out, uh, out of 10. However, you guys saw that clip where we could bump the weight up to 18 grams. Now, in that case, I think that's a respectable number, a respectable weight. 18 grams, that's kind of like the minimum where most people that want to try a light dart will go. So if we do an 18 gram version like I've been playing with, 7.5 out of 10, so a little better. Still, it's a lightweight dart. And if you want to try a lightweight dart, I mean, come on, perfect match weighting, three in a bullseye, end with a 180. It doesn't get much better than that, guys. Um, by the way, happened to pick these up at Darts Corner. So I'm gonna have a link down below. You can take your, uh, it's gonna take you over to Darts Corner. You can check out this model as well as the three other models. And don't forget, Loxley has some awesome dart flights. So check out all their flights as well. And um, yeah, they just have some amazing stuff. Top notch quality, very affordable prices as well. So yeah, Darts Corner, link down below. Check it out. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, We'll see you on the next video. Whoa, close up of the 180 coming here. We'll catch you on the next one. Later.
nice deflection. 